Well, good afternoon, everyone. You are looking at a live view of Slick 4E at T minus four minutes and counting till launch of SpaceX Falcon 9 carrying Starlink 7 13. We're here again, another launch attempt, but uh, unlike yesterday where we were 20% go, we are now 80% go. We flipped the odds, and you can see that Strongback Retract has begun. SpaceX began propellant load uh, about 25 minutes ago and are progressing towards liftoff here today. If it's your first time here, though, welcome. My name is Zach. I'm the founder and host here at the Launchpad. And here at TLP, it's our mission to inform and inspire the explorers of tomorrow because we believe that space is better together. And we're glad to have you all joining us live with us here today. If you guys have questions, you can send those in the chat by taking us at the Launchpad. And we'll work on answering those live as we continue through today's countdown. We got lots of people tuning in. We got uh, SciFact from New Zealand, Merlin's in Pennsylvania, we got Frank in Milwaukee. Long hairs in Sunderland, UK. We got Ollie in the UK as well. Uh, Monik is in London, Ontario. We got Count in Auckland, New Zealand. Truly people tuning in from all over the world, and we're glad to have you joining us here on board, as you can guess with the name. Yep, 22 more Starlink V2 minis getting ready to head up to low Earth orbit. Tonight's Falcon 9 booster is flying for its 14th time. Today's booster is booster 1071. It previously supported... NRL 87, NRL 85, Sarah 1, SWAT, Transporter 8, Transporter 9, and 7 previous Starlink missions. SpaceX's autonomous drone ship, of course I still love you, is stationed downrange in the Pacific Ocean, and it is looking like a beautiful clear day at Vandenberg. If you happen to be in the Los Angeles or San Diego region, uh, definitely head outside now with the stream delay and take a look up. You should be within about a minute and a half or so of launch and may be able to see Falcon fly today. If you happen to capture a photo or video, make sure you send that to us over on X at TLPN underscore official, or better yet, send it to us over on our TLP Discord. It's free to join, and that's where our community hangs out in between streams. We're hanging out uh, with SpaceX Aerospace, SpaceX Fan 8, and Thunder and Gavin in general hangout watching today's launch as well. We'd love to see you in there. As always, we get into the final minutes of the count, T minus 1 minute, 42 seconds and counting. We want to see that final go no go poll from you guys in the chat for today's flight. We're turning up the mission control audio and I'll be taking you through flight commentary here today. The next two milestones that we'll be seeing is when the tanks will pressurize. That's what we wanted to hear. That is the moment that the tanks are doing their final pressurizations for flight, and Falcon will take over at T minus 60 seconds. At T minus 45 seconds, the launch director will give their final go for flight. That's ultimately where we had the delay yesterday, but everything looking great for a flight here today. Engines will be commanded to ignite at T minus 3 seconds and then lift off with those nine Merlin 1D engines at T0. Let's listen in. Let's listen to the final minute of the count. LD is go for launch. T minus 30 minus seconds. 30 seconds. Stage one, pressing for flight. T minus 15 seconds. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, Ignition and lift off of Falcon 9. Go Starlink, go SpaceX. Chamber pressure is nominal. T plus 15 seconds. T plus 20 seconds into flight. Falcon 9 has cleared Slick 4E at Vandenberg Space Force Base. In California, the next major milestone will be the moment of max Q, or the moment of peak mechanical stress on the vehicle. That's set to occur T plus 1 minute, 12 seconds into flight. Really clear view today of the role that Falcon 9 performs when it clears the pad. With the, all the night launches we see, we don't normally get to see as clear of a roll, uh, but uh, a great sign there seeing Vandenberg Power. pull Power. away Nominal. in the background. T plus 50 seconds into flight, coming up to that call out of max Q, expected in about 20 Falcon seconds from now. Supersonic.
max Q. T plus 90 seconds into flight. Falcon 9 continuing to fly normally. The, you heard there the call out for MVAC chill. That's that second stage engine on Falcon preparing to ignite. Uh, we're going to have that happen in a little bit, but we've got a sequence of events that's going to set to begin here in about 45 seconds, beginning with Miko or first stage main engine cutoff, immediately followed by first and second sec first and second stage separation, and then MVAC ignition or second engine start SES one. 30 seconds later, we will have fairing deployment as well, so we're going to listen in to all of those callouts, that sequence beginning with Miko, in 20 seconds from now. Stage one throttle down. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. Stage two ignition. Stage two propulsion nominal. Bearing separation confirmed. And if you're just joining us, welcome here to the launch pad. T plus three minutes, 20 seconds into flight. Falcon 9's first stage has completed its ascent portion and is now coasting to its apogee. We're expecting that to occur in the next about 30 seconds. Keep an eye on the speed and the altitude in the bottom left corner of your screen. It normally occurs anywhere between 116 and 120 kilometers for launches out of Vandenberg. So we'll keep a close eye on that. But when the speed starts going up and the altitude goes down, that is when first stage has reached its apogee and is beginning its recovery operations, heading down to the drone ship. Of course, I still love you in the Pacific Ocean. Uh, that has been stationed downrange. Second stage continuing to burn nominally. It'll continue to burn until uh, 8 minutes 38 oh, seconds into flight. You heard there that both are following a nominal trajectory. The next sequence of events that we will see is going to be entry burn. That's of the first stage as it comes back into the Earth's atmosphere, helping slow it down but also protect it from atmospheric interface. That's set to begin 6 minutes, 8 seconds into flight, lasting just over 22 seconds for today's entry burn. It'll then coast for 90 seconds, flying and slowing down but flying down to the drone ship before its landing burn. As always, if you guys have questions, you can send those in the chat at this point by tagging us at the launch pad, and we'll work on answering those live. We're glad to have you here. Uh, Denise says, daylight launches are so much more scenic. I have to agree. They're uh, beautiful views of our planet Earth, but even seeing the launch site pull away, that is amazing. And there we have it in the chat. Apogee, 116 kilometers. The first stage now descending for its 14th time, coming back down to the Earth's atmosphere, keeping an eye on that altitude, waiting for it to cross back under the Kármán line and begin its atmospheric re-entry. If you haven't seen it yet, we did post the uh, brand new NASA WB-57 footage from Starship IFT-2. You can watch each clip uh, individually with it clearly marked where the redacted video is, but we also edited them into kind of a supercut with the launch commentator coverage as well to give you a really great idea of what the WB-57 saw during IFT-2 with the Starship flight. Some interesting sights there. Unfortunately, we didn't get to see hot staging or the explosion during that footage as that was redacted by SpaceX. But uh, maybe one day we'll be able to see that. T plus 5 minutes, 50 seconds into flight. The first stage preparing to perform its entry burn. That burn expected to begin 6 minutes, 8 seconds into flight. So stand by for that call out.
Stage one entry burn startup. Stage one entry burn shutdown. And the first stage has made it through the uh, hardest part of its reentry. Vehicles continue to follow a nominal trajectory. The entry burn there. Now keep an eye on its speed. It's picking up speed right now, currently going over 5,000 kilometers an hour. But over the next 30 kilometers with no engines, it will use those grid fins and its own body to slow down in preparation for its landing burn. That landing burn set to begin 57 seconds from now. The landing burn expected to last 25 seconds here today with booster 1071 landing for the 14th time today on drone ship. Of course, I still love you. We'll keep a close eye and wait for that drone ship to come into view, but you can see Stage those two, grid fins. You can see those grid fins now beginning to steer the vehicle in preparation for that landing burn. With it being a daytime uh, flight, it's much easier to see the incredible uh, operations of a Falcon 9 first stage. Stage 1 transonic. Second stage now, having passed over 20,000 kilometers an hour, has about a minute left in its first burn. Now, SpaceX no longer provides coverage through Starlink deployment, but the second stage will conduct one more burn, 53 minutes, 28 seconds into flight, for just a one-second burst, finalizing its orbit, and then payload deployment will occur one hour, two minutes, 22 seconds into flight, so stay tuned on X for confirmation from SpaceX of Starlink deployment. We're waiting for the call out of landing burn start. There is the ignition of the landing burn. The drone ship, of course, I still love you, coming into sight as booster 1071 attempts to land for the 14th time. Turn. I think we all saw that going not the way we thought it was going, but there we go. It turned and it's coming into the drone ship. And uh, a little bit of a slide there, but we have touchdown of booster 1071 on the drone ship. Of course, I still love you out in the Pacific Ocean. And waiting for the call out of Seco uh, 1, uh, that is second stage engine cutoff. And we have it there confirmed as Seco. well with Seco. That's going to do it for us live here today. If you haven't yet, make sure you engage that subscribe button so you never miss another live launch coverage, docking, undocking, or return to Earth. We're going to be back here on February 13th from 7, for 7-14, launching from Vandenberg. But for now, we will see you next time because space is better together. Goodbye.